Hey everyone, so this is my review of Supergirl, Season 4, Episode 7, called Rather the Fallen Angel. And essentially what this episode is about is that uh, James goes further into trying to form alliances with the um, Children of Liberty and all to try and get to Agent Liberty. And while that's going on, uh, Manchester Black and Supergirl follow many leads to try and find the location of the hideout of the Children of Liberty and Lena begins her first test trials for her new um, serum. And this was a really interesting episode that definitely had a lot of really good moments to it and with how some of the characters left off by the end of this episode I'm very curious to see what's going to happen to them going forward. So everything with James in this episode was really great with him getting this assignment by Asian Liberty to essentially prove himself worthy. And so I enjoyed the part with one of the other children of Liberty who gave uh, James this location and go ahead for this potential interview that ended up not being an interview. And he turns his back on the children of Liberty because he realizes that a lot of what they're doing isn't right. So he goes to try and protect James and just how that whole situation worked out and stuff was really interesting to me. And then James's whole speech that he was essentially forced to give and just that whole sort of conflict that happened was really, really great. And then everything with Supergirl and Manchester Black was interesting with Supergirl still trying to decide whether or not she can truly trust him because of the fact that a lot of his motives seem very aggressive and violent and she's not okay with that. So their whole conversations and stuff was interesting, especially with what it led to with um, a bunch of backstabbing and just how John fit into that with him being there to try and support Manchester Black but then when Manchester Black doesn't end up being the person that John wants him to be, he struggles to try and figure out what to do going forward because he really felt like he could lean on Manchester Black and I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen to him going forward now that he has been sort of broken off from the rest of the Supergirl team. Then everything with Lena and her test subject and stuff like that was an interesting side story but it was kind of weird and it was fairly predictable how the thing everything turned out where um, she started out doing this test trial and stuff to try and make it just be a test not get any sort of personal information or anything out of this test subject just keep them being a number but then the more and more she communicated with him the more and more they bonded and she struggled to move forward with the test because of that and then how everything turned out with it ended up being that the test was successful to some degree, but it still ended up killing the participant. Was the part that was fairly predictable, but it was still interesting to see. Then I really enjoyed the whole showdown on the island where Supergirl was trapped and couldn't use her powers and she had to find a way to signal James for help. And just how that whole situation went down and then their fight against the Children of Liberty was probably some of the best moments in this episode. And then just overall this was a really interesting and entertaining episode that definitely had a lot of really good moments to it. I'm really curious and excited to see what's going to happen next after how this episode ended. So yeah, that's my review of Supergirl Season 4 Episode 7 called the, Rather the Fallen Angel. So yeah, bye!